Hey guys, welcome back to another Salt Sneakers YouTube video. Today we have an AYCD uh, tracker um, tutorial. So we're going to be showing you how to use the new AYCD webhooks feature and all the different things that go along with that. Uh, there's a lot of very helpful things with this feature or this tool. So I'm going to be going over how to use it and uh, yeah, hopefully you learn something. There's a lot of good reasons to be using Tracker. Um, if you are running a lot of slots or something and you sometimes get uh, PVs or if you get um, web hooks that are rate limited, then it would be great for you to run AYCD web hooks because they uh, eliminate the rate limits can't talk right now and also you can track your orders and see what the status is if they got canceled you can update it and check what the current status is as you can see these are all fulfillment processing um, this one I just updated uh, the fulfillment is complete these were ordered yesterday and we have the estimated delivery date so a bunch of very helpful things if you're running slots you can see if your orders got canceled and you can uh, maybe keep running them or adjust your setup um, so yeah definitely very helpful tool and let's get into this guide so first things first of course not all bots are going to support AYCD webhooks at the moment um, I would assume that many are going to implement support for AYCD webhooks eventually uh, but currently the list of bots that support AYCD webhooks are AIO, Moji, Bonza, Carnage Bot, Cybersoul, Flare AIO, Ganesh, KSR, uh, Kodai, Lex AIO, Linear AIO, Mech AIO, Mech Prime, Nebula, Knight, Omnus AIO, Polaris, Prism, Storm, Strike, Swift Soul, Toru, Torpedo, Valor, and Whatbot. So for those bots, um, what you want to do the very first thing obviously I assume that you are going to have your own server already uh, but if you do not you will need to make a discord server so I have one in here I'm gonna make a new one just for the heck of it so you want to go down to the bottom of your discord uh, servers page and click the add a server button and then create my own um, I was just do for friends and family, Kronos lead server, let's do test server, and we don't need to upload a picture or anything, but okay, so now we have a server, and you're going to want to make a channel for your webhooks, so I'm gonna, now, Kodai is what I've been using recently, so I'm just gonna make a Kodai channel, now you're gonna want to make a webhook, like normal so you make your webhook and copy webhook URL and then you're going to go to your AYCD account and click on webhooks beta here in the corner so I'm gonna click on webhooks beta now as you can see I already have these in here um, these don't actually support AYC webhooks as we just went over so dash dashy doesn't as well so I can delete that one okay and easy cop doesn't can delete that one venom doesn't we can delete that one okay so currently Kodai is the only bot that I'm running that supports it um, so what you're gonna want to do is you're going to click add a webhook and then name it after whatever bot you're going to put it in so I'm just gonna name it Kodai and then I'm gonna paste the webhook that I want my notifications to come up in, in here. So your Discord webhook goes in AYCD. In here, you can have multiple up to 10. Um, as long as they're on a separate line, so you'll hit enter and then you'll paste your other one in there if you have to send them to multiple places. If you are still getting rate limited and you only have one webhook in here, put another one in and that should theoretically 
fix your rate limits. I, you, I don't know for sure how the rate limiting works. I don't know if you need to have more than one in there to reduce rate limits. Um, but yeah, I would just say if you're still getting rate limits and you only have one in here, or if you have a few, then just try putting more in and see if that fixes your rate limits. So then you're going to hit save and you have this. And now uh, AYCD generated in a webhook for you to paste in your bot. So now I would copy this and paste it in Kodai. Um, I don't have a rental key currently, so I can't show you that I'm going to paste it in, but you just paste it into Kodai then. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is set up the webhook scanner. So to do that, like I said, you're going to have to have the one of the supported bots. So it won't work for bots that aren't supported, but what you can do is go to the Discord developer portal. Um, I will have the link to that in the description. Sign into your account that you're going to be using with um, whatever, whatever account you have your server one that you made if you have multiple accounts um, you're going to use the account that you made your server on so you log in and first thing you're going to do is click new application in the top i'm sorry you probably can't see that because of my camera so if you click new application up here i'm just going to name it order tracker uh, this is what i had before i deleted it so it's going to auto fill but name it whatever you want i'm going to name it order tracker now this application ID and this public key um, application ID you don't want to show you don't want to share this stuff so after you make the webhook or after you make the application you're going to go to bot down here and click on bot and you're gonna click um, you're gonna click let me move this so my webcam doesn't hide anything I want to be sure Click add a bot. Yes, do it. Order tracker. If you wanna make this look good, put whatever picture you want in here so it'll show up like a user. Um, wherever my pictures is, I literally can't find it. So put that in there, you can save it. Then um, what you're gonna wanna do is click on token. So you're gonna copy your token and you're going to take it to AYCD and in the settings here you're going to put discord put it in the discord bot token make sure you don't share your key with anybody because this will allow them to operate your bot pretty much and do whatever they want with your server because they will have administrator permissions so yeah don't share that um you're going to hit save save that and then you're going to go back to tracker and you now have to make a invite so we go back to general information here and we get the application ID. So we're gonna copy the application ID and then we're gonna go back to AYCD here, click options in the corner under the tracker tab and generate bot invite link. So I'm gonna clear this again, don't share this. This will allow people to invite the bot to their servers. Um, so don't share your client ID. Paste that in there and then you copy the link so copy the invite link and then you are just going to paste that into your browser and hit enter so this will invite your bot to server you're going to select whichever server you want to have it uh, sent to so this is my test server that we're using and authorize fill out the captcha and your bot has entered the server. Welcome order tracker. Okay, so the bot is now offline. You can see that um, uh, to make the bot go online, simply all you gotta do is connect the Discord bot. So now the order tracker is online and it is ready to go. Um, I can scan my server for any um, orders or we can do a live monitoring which will as we check out it'll track all the orders in here as we check out which is nice okay so now the bot is online and we have to tell it which channels we want it to monitor so we're gonna click create 
and in here it's going to bring up the servers that you're in so test server yep this is the server that's going to scan and then you can select all your channels at the moment we only have Kodai so we're going to click Kodai and we're going to click create so now we have this and if we wanted to we could start scanning for orders if we had any um, webhooks notifications in here we could just click scan set our dates that we want to scan from uh, I'm sorry it's not even so we're gonna save that scan done scanning and we didn't have any orders in there so it's not gonna show up these are all from before um, the other thing you can do is do monitor live monitor live so this is live monitoring and as we get checkouts and uh, the webhooks are automatically going to be imported into sales tracker and uh, place under your shipments tracker and then all you got to do to check the status of your order if they've been canceled or anything is come in here and click mass update so i'm going to set it you want to set it on your proxies otherwise they won't go through and they'll get banned so you're going to have to use proxies to do this so update them let's see what the status is of these orders i'm gonna have to hide all that order number and stuff um, these are residential so it's going to be a little bit slower uh, but if you have data centers or if you have one local host the updating will go much quicker I mean so if you have shitty proxies this is not going to work as well as it could um, you're going to want to have decent proxies so yeah I mean it's going through now finally but it took a while so if you have better proxies it'll be better and yeah I mean it is what it is it works so I I think it's very helpful oh um, my gosh bro like I said I think this is a very helpful tool just this order tracker here alone this is the entire video literally on one tab of one module of AYCD and that is AYCD Tracker. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions or any um, other uh, AYCD modules or tools or anything sneaker related, any questions, just leave them in the comments or you can uh, join my cook group, which is currently in beta. It's an open beta, so uh, it's free to join for right now. And you can ask your questions in there. We have support. We have other people in there who uh, will probably answer your questions or you can open a ticket. So that's all the ways you can uh, get. If you have any questions, you can get in contact with us. So I hope this was helpful. Have a good day and uh, stay salty.